Today we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Sunday, March 20th, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Boston Celtics vs Denver Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets play host to the Boston Celtics at the Ball Arena on Sunday night. Our first pick is. Boston minus 3.5 points. And here is why. The Boston Celtics have been in red hot form as they've won 7 of their last 8 games overall, and they will be eager to stay hot after making light work of the Kings in a 126 97 road win on Friday. Jason Tatum drained 7 3 pointers to lead the team with 32 points on 12 of 16 shooting, Jalen Brown added 30 points on 11 of 18 shooting, while Peyton Pritchard chipped in with 14 points and 8 assists off the bench. As a team, the Celtics shot a healthy 56% from the field and a sizzling 22 of 40 from the three point line as they exploded for 35 points in the second quarter to take a 19 point lead into halftime before finishing with a flurry in the fourth quarter to make it a complete blowout. The Celtics are coming into this meeting as one of the hottest teams in the league lately, and they will be full of confidence after blowing past the Kings in a dominant win on Friday, thanks to big games from Brown and Tatum. The Nuggets have continued to tally up the wins thanks to Jokic who has been carrying the team all season, but they will be hoping for a better showing after suffering that painful overtime loss in their last outing. This should be a close one, but I'm taking the Celtics to get the win and cover in this spot. And our second pick is. Under the total, and here is why. The Denver Nuggets have been in decent shape as they've won 6 of their last 9 games overall, but they will be looking to bounce back in this one after coming up just short to the Cavaliers in a 119-116 overtime road loss on Friday. Nikola Jaka cracked up 32 points with 10 rebounds and 8 assists, Aaron Gordon added 20 points with 8 rebounds and 5 assists, while Bones Highland provided the spark off the bench with 17 points and 7 assists. As a team, the Nuggets shot 50% from the field and 10 of 33 from the three-point line as they squandered an early 14-point lead in the fourth quarter before they wasted a five-point lead in the overtime period to allow the Cavaliers to slip away. San Antonio Spurs vs Golden State Warriors The San Antonio Spurs and the Golden State Warriors duke it out at the Chase Center on Sunday night. Our first pick is. Golden State minus 5.5 points. And here is why. The San Antonio Spurs have been in a slump as they've lost 8 of their last 11 games overall, and they will be hoping for a better showing after getting demolished by the Pelicans in a 124-91 loss on Friday. Devin Vassell led the team in scoring with 18 points, Dejant Murray tallied 17 points with 9 rebounds and 5 assists, while Keldon Johnson chipped in with 11 points. As a team, the Spurs shot just 36% from the field and 11 of 44 from the three-point line as they got off to a nightmare start and never recovered after the Pelicans opened the game on a ferocious 35-7 run. Zach Collins had a night to forget as he scored just two points on one of ten shooting off the bench. The Spurs will be shorthanded as Lonnie Walker and Romeo Langford are out, while Josh Richardson and Keita bates Diop are both questionable. The Warriors have their own injuries to deal with as James Wiseman, Gary Payton and Stephen Curry are all out, and Moses Moody is questionable. The Spurs will surely come out firing after getting embarrassed in their last outing, but they've been in poor form, so I'm looking more at the Warriors who haven't seen the court since their big loss to the Celtics on Wednesday. The Warriors have the advantage of extra rest, and I think they bounce back into form with a much-needed win here. And our second pick is. Under the total. And here is why. The Golden State Warriors have been in rough shape as they've lost 6 of their last 10 games overall, but they were on a 4-game win streak before getting stopped in their tracks by the Celtics in a 110-88 loss on Wednesday. Jordan Poole led the team with 29 points on 10 of 20 shooting, while Klay Thompson added 18 points, but no other player finished in double figures in scoring. As a team, the Warriors shot just 37% from the field and a miserly 11 of 48 from the three-point line as they got off to a terrible start and managed just 32 points in the first half, and things only worsened in the fourth quarter, where the Celtics finished with a flurry. Jonathan Kaminga scored just 5 points on 1 of 6 shooting, while Otto Porter Jr. scored just 5 points on 2 of 10 shooting. Curry is not the only banged-up warrior. While they just got back Draymond Green off the shelf, Andrew Wiggins and Moses Moody are both questionable for Sunday's game. 
Look for Jordan Poole to step up in Curry's absence. Poole stepped up against the Celtics dropping a team-high 29 points. Klay Thompson added 18 points, and he'll definitely be needed to pick up the scoring slack. Thompson is averaging 17.8 points per game. The Warriors are averaging 111.2 points per game and are giving up 105.1 points per game. Philadelphia 76ers vs Toronto Raptors The Philadelphia 76ers play host to the Toronto Raptors at the Wells Fargo Center on Sunday night. Our first pick is. Philadelphia minus 5.5 points. And here is why. The Toronto Raptors have won 7 of their last 11 games overall, but they will be aiming to bounce back in this one, after having their 5-game win streak halted by the Lakers in a 128-123 overtime loss on Friday. Scotty Barnes led the team with 31 points, 17 rebounds and 6 assists, Gary Trent Jr. added 23 points, Fred Van Vliet scored 20 points with 7 assists, while Pascal Siakam chipped in with 17 points and 7 assists. As a team, the Raptors shot 50% from the field and 12 of 37 from the three-point line, as they had their hearts broken by a running three-pointer from the Lakers' Russell Westbrook in the final second of the fourth quarter, before coming up short in overtime where they managed just seven points. The Raptors are again without Malachi Flynn and Aga Nunebi, while the 76ers are sweating on the availability of Joel Embiid, who is currently listed as questionable for this one. The Raptors have been in great shape, and they're almost at full strength except for a couple of players, while the 76ers have been on fire lately, but they could be without their leader in Embiid. The Raptors are more than good enough to pull off the upset here, but I think the 76ers are the bet in this spot, especially if Embiid is able to suit up. And our second pick is. Over 224.5 points. And here is why. Pascal Siakam is leading Toronto in scoring and rebounding with averages of 22.0 points and 8.4 rebounds per game, while Fred Van Vliet is the second leading scorer and the leader in assists, with averages of 21.1 points and 6.7 assists per game. Toronto has five players averaging double figures in scoring, and as a team the Raptors are scoring an average of 108.8 points per game. Philadelphia looks for its third consecutive victory when hosting Toronto on Sunday. Philadelphia is first in the Atlantic Division at 43-26 and one game ahead of the Boston Celtics. Philadelphia beat the Dallas Mavericks 111-101 on Friday. Joe Lambiad was the leading scorer for Philadelphia with 32 points, while James Harden scored 24 points and handed out 13 assists. Joe Lambiad is leading Philadelphia in scoring and rebounding with averages of 29.9 points and 11.4 rebounds per game, while James Harden is the second leading scorer and the leader in assists, with averages of 22.8 points and 10.6 assists per game. Philadelphia has four players averaging double figures in scoring, and as a team is scoring an average of 108.7 points per game. The Philadelphia 76ers have been in great shape as they've won 9 of their last 12 games overall, and they will be looking to stay hot after outlasting the Mavericks in a 111-101 home win on Friday. Joel Embiid led the team with 32 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists and 5 steals, James Harden added 24 points with 12 assists, while Tobias Harris chipped in with 14 points. As a team, the 76ers shot 49% from the field and 16 of 38 from the three-point line, but this win was more about their defense, as they keyed in on the Mavericks' Luka Doncic and held him to just 5 of 20 shooting from the field, which kept the rest of the team in check. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory. 